Hello and welcome back to WPC. Within this video, we're going to be teaching you how to install the Halo Reach third person mod. So let's get right into it. Open up the start menu, search for developer settings and enable developer mode. This next step is to create a backup of the original game file, but it can be downloaded from the link in the description if you prefer. Go to the C drive and open the program files folder. Once there, head over to the view tab and click the hidden items checkbox. That way you can view the hidden files and folders in there. Attempting to open the window apps folder will ask you for permission, so click security tab in the message. Click advanced on the new window that pops up and then change with the security icon next to it. In the text field, enter your user account name. Hit check name so it fills out the full name for you, then OK all of the dialogues that pop up. Close the permission dialog and open the Windows Apps folder, pressing continue when prompted. Scroll down to a folder named MSI XVC and perform the same steps to grant permission for the local user account. Make a copy of this file as it can be used to register the original game later. Go to the GitHub link in the description and download UWP Dumper by clicking Download Latest X64 Binary here, and then open it. Extract the archive to a destination of your choosing. Start Halo with Anti-Cheat disabled. Right-click UWP Injector and run it as Administrator. Look for Microsoft.Chellen, type in the process ID for it and then hit Enter. This process can take about 10 minutes, so we're just going to cut the footage here. Once finished, it will take you to a directory with a dump folder. Copy this folder to a location of your choosing. and then uninstall Halo Master Chief Collection. Navigate to the new location of the dump, hold shift and right click to open PowerShell as admin. Once there, enter the command which we'll have in the description. If the command fails, create a copy of Apex Manifest. Edit the original Apex Manifest file, copying the one from Pastebin. Go back to PowerShell and press the up arrow to fill out the previous command and then hit enter. After it's registered, launch Halo from the start menu. It should then take you to the Windows Store where you can install Halo Reach. It's just a 10 megabyte download though, so don't worry about it taking too long. Now 
Once it's installed, launch Halo again to check it reaches the menu. Go to the Nexus Mods page of the third person mod and download the file for the maps you want to replace. To download the files, you will need to create an account if you don't already have one. Bear in mind these are large files, nearing 2 gig each, and free accounts are limited in download speed, so this can take 25 minutes to download. Once downloaded, open the archive and navigate to the maps folder as shown. Take a backup of the original map so you can easily restore them later on if you want to. Extract the files to the maps folder, overwriting the originals when prompted. Now. Launch Halo Reach for the final time and test one of the modified levels. Since the game wasn't particularly made for third person, there are a few quirks like being unable to zoom with certain weapons, so weapons like the sniper rifle aren't as useful as they normally would be. But there you go, you have now installed Halo Reach third person. We do hope you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.